Hello, welcome to this video on the concave mirror. In this video we will discuss the basics of the concave mirror. The concave mirror is shaped like this. What you have to imagine is that this mirror is part of a circle or more precisely a sphere so you see I'm drawing in a circle here and you can see the concave mirror is just a part of that circle so if I've drawn in a circle here then we know that every circle has a center and that's and that's this point here this is the center of the circle so this point C is known as the center of curvature don't worry too much about this word curvature just just as long as you understand that C is just the center of the circle of this circle that I've drawn that's good enough notice these two other points here F and O we'll talk more about F as we go along in this video F is known as the focal point while O O is just the center of the mirror now since C is the center of the circle we know that the distance from the center of a circle to the circumference is just the radius and O since O lies on the the circumference of this circle we can therefore say that this length or distance from C to O here that's the radius of the circle and of course we call that R so R here is simply the radius this distance from F to O we call this distance little f and the name we give to this is that it is the focal length there is a simple relationship between the radius r and the focal length f the radius is simply twice as big as f so the relationship is simply that R is equal to 2 times the focal length we will prove this relationship in another video let's now discuss how light reflects off the concave mirror let's imagine that we have a light ray that is incident or arrives at the mirror parallel to to the optical axis okay so this this line here is what's called the optical axis So let's imagine a light ray 
arrives at the mirror parallel to this optical axis. Now, in a previous video, we discussed how light rays reflect. And remember, we understand how light rays reflect by first drawing in what's called the normal. So the normal is this line which is at 90 degrees to the reflecting surface. Now when this ray reflects of this part of the mirror it will it will reflect something like this. What you need to know here is that this angle here is what's called the angle of incidence, I. Remember this is the, the normal here. And recall that we call this angle that the reflected ray makes with the normal R. And remember from our previous video that the law of reflection is simply that these two angles are equal to each other. So notice that the reflected ray it it passes through the focal point F and this is an important principle of concave mirrors that any light ray any light ray that arrives at the mirror parallel to the optical axis so here's another light ray which is parallel to the optical axis it two will reflect through the focal point. Let's draw one more. So again if I draw another incident ray that comes in like this, it too will pass through F. Okay. So if on the other hand we have for example a light ray starting from F which reaches or arrives at the mirror like this if we just look back here if we if we just reverse these arrows then you can see that light rays that pass through the focal point they will reflect off the mirror and move away from the mirror parallel to the optical axis. So that's another principle here. So this light ray you see it, it, it goes through the focal point once it hits the mirror it then reflects like this parallel to to the optical axis. Let me draw a couple few more. So again, a light ray that goes through the focal point F reflects off the mirror and goes parallel to the optical axis. Finally, if a light ray passes through the the center, the center of the circle like this, so if it goes like this through the center of the circle and reaches the mirror, 
that light ray will just reflect back in in the opposite direction to which the ray came. So if it comes like this, it reflects and goes back through the center of the mirror, like that. This is because, remember, C, if C is the center of the circle, then from the center of the circle to any point, let's use a different color, we know that the distance from the center of the circle to to the the mirror is just the radius right and we know the radius a property of all circles is that any radius I draw is perpendicular to to the to the, the tangent we draw that the radius meets at at the at the circumference so this radius is perpendicular to to this tangent here so basically this this ra this this if we draw this line here this line which just extends the radius remember that's just the normal right and so if the light ray comes in along the normal we know that it will just reflect back along the normal away from the mirror so that's what's going on here Thank you for listening.